So as you guys know, within the brand new Easter update came a brand new event pass, which requires a brand new currency called Chocolate Eggs, which are gained from fishing and catching pets and defeating bosses. And there is also a brand new event, which allows you to get an elite fallen angel from the top 200 players on this leaderboard who have the most about of chocolate eggs. And as you can see, I definitely am not on here because I only think I even have 100,000 at least. And as I'm going to show you guys how to get some a lot faster, even though I don't have, I know the strats to go ahead and help you. And also real quickly, let me go ahead and claim this and help me definitely get a, a 25 level of my one of my pets that I'm trying to get. And also it does help you out with the pass because there is two pets at the end. And you know, you can get two if you pay the uh, extra four, uh, 400 Robux, but I'm not going to. So I'm only going to this pyramid pet. But as you can see, we have fishing, catching pets, and defeating bosses. Now, fishing and catching pets are only the AFK way that you could do it. I'm pretty sure you could AFK bosses. I'm not sure how to, but I'm pretty sure there's videos out there on how to go ahead and AFK bosses. And as you know, as of update two or three, I don't know what update this is on right now. There is only three bosses in the game, the King Slime, the Kraken, and the Hyper Core uh, boss i think is what it's called and they all eat equally give uh 250 eggs each so every three bosses you defeat you get uh about a thousand eggs which isn't a lot but if you really think about it, if you have a lot of these respawn tomes or if you go ahead and equally fight the, the king slime a lot it does respawn really quickly so yeah it's only 20 minutes so let's say every hour or so you're getting 750 uh eggs or so so if you do the math, I'm not doing all that. 750 times 24. I'm pretty sure that's over 10,000 eggs within a day. I'm not exactly sure, but it's still not a lot, but it is a lot in my opinion. But if you do want to go ahead and get a lot, that is one effective way you can go ahead and fight the bosses consistently. And I'm pretty sure you can get a lot within a day. But this update has been out for, I think, two days now. I think it's been 24 hours at least. So maybe a day and a little bit more than that. But and the afk way obviously is to go ahead and afk fish so pretty sure the fastest area to go ahead and fish is most definitely pet park or um mellow meadows i think that's what it's called but we can go ahead and fish and as you see it takes two seconds or so to go ahead and get that and you get a chocolate egg guaranteed every time so that is insane also you're getting a little bit amount of currency as well as you fish for that area because when you go ahead and sell that fish you know obviously has a value of it this one has like a 50 coin value so it's pretty nice but also another effective way to go ahead and fish faster let me go ahead and take you to the hyper uh arcade area we can go here i have yet to go ahead and get that hyper rod so i'm gonna go ahead and purchase it really quickly since i do have it but really quickly before we go ahead and do that let me go and see the difference of the diamond rod so as you can see it does have a 1.5 times speed so we're gonna go ahead and see how much faster this hyper rod is and it is 1.65 times faster so you would definitely have to try and get that so you can get fish a lot faster and more efficiently also we have these new egg potions we'll go ahead and get those um get these as well i need some golden cherries but as you can go ahead over here and see it takes less than two seconds or a little bit faster than two seconds to go ahead and fish here let me go ahead and really quickly see the difference in um what do you call it in the first area pet park or mellow meadows uh, and we're gonna go ahead and see how fast of a fish that is all right so we're in pet park now we're gonna see how fast this is so i think they all do equally the amount of same amount of time so i guess i would think whoa what the heck but as I was saying, I think the best way to go ahead and fish or AFK fish for chocolate eggs is in the Hyperwave Arcade. Since the new token currency is a little hard to get and if you need some new coin, uh, token currency, there is um, that is the best way to do it because fish are actually pretty easy to go ahead and sell for some tokens. I obviously don't have any right now because I did sell mines. But it is an effective way to go ahead and get some currency as well. And I think the Easter shop for you here we need. Okay, so definitely I would go ahead and get this right here. Some respawn tone because they are uh, needed. Also, I would sell my mystery scrolls for this. Also, if you don't know where to get some mystery scrolls, they're in the magic shop actually. In the Glommy Grotto area, I think that's how you pronounce it. Right there for some coins. It's pretty cheap. I mean, I think what they do is like they re-roll uh, charms or whatever. I'm not sure, but they cost pretty cheap only 3 million coins and as you've seen i got a bunch of uh respawn tones so now i'm at 139 also there is a new shrine in the arcade area that does give you um some tomes so if you do have a shrine team right here i have my own and they have shrine four in them each so there's a 13 percent chance times four so i think like 
50 something percent chance i get an extra drop for that so it is pretty helpful let's see if it actually works right now um while i'm recording to see if i get some respawn homes um let's go ahead and see all right we're in the arcade area now as you can see we can go ahead and claim it and as you see i got an extra respawn tome from that so i have three now um let's really quickly go ahead and claim the luck um shrine right here i didn't get anything luck more uh more elixir but i did get some pretty nice things i got some token elixirs some luck elixirs and i think it was super lucky i think i got so yeah those are pretty helpful um definitely easter shop does help a little bit because it does give you a chance to go ahead and buy some respawn tomes and pretty cool stuff also i think there there um is a thing here that you could buy for i think a few amount of tokens it does have some respawn tomes on it and those uh re i don't know what you call those what do you what do you call these time full tomes so yeah it costs a little bit of tokens and it's right here not that bad and really quickly i'm gonna go ahead and actually i don't need to turn these into that because i don't need mini game luck because i don't afk that but yeah also i don't think the most official way is to hatch uh, or catch pets because if you go ahead and see i go ahead and afk it does take a little while to go ahead and actually catch the pet and then to go ahead and move to the next one but if you are doing um some broad bounty quest or any other quest in the game you know you can get some chocolate eggs while you're doing that but it doesn't you know suit up to anything um i think if you do have super afk you can do both at the same time because you're going to be fishing majority of the time and then when you know anything spawns in that you need it goes ahead and picks that pet up or tries to at least try and get it so i think yeah i think that's the only pay to win part of this is the super afk but nothing else you really need honestly also if you do leave the game i think you would want auto rejoin i actually have never bought that myself so maybe it isn't it isn't useful at all so yeah also yeah so really quick i'm going to show you guys what um how fast you can go ahead and beat this the slime at least that's what i know how to do really quickly so that you guys can go ahead and try that but um the super slime does respawn a little faster so yeah we're gonna do the 34 so i'm gonna go ahead and put my damage team on i'm gonna show you guys how efficiently it is i'm pretty sure a lot of people know this method but i think i don't know how to afk uh bosses i might have to research that but yeah, it's definitely going to be the best way to go ahead and get some chocolate eggs. Because I think that's how those people actually have almost 2 million worth of chocolate eggs right now. And this event is going to be lasting for about two more weeks. So hopefully the strategy does stay the same for the two more weeks that we have on this. Because I do actually want to try and get that leaf on the angel or at least try and trade for it in the future. But I think we got a victory. I'm not sure. Yeah, we got a victory. So I'm going to show you guys what we get. Also, if you guys do want a, a little loop. Um, or trick to get some respawn tomes um go ahead and go to the sunset shores really quickly and try and fight the kraken on its uh the 25 level because that is the maximum you can get or i think if you have the uh boss drop tome on one of your pets go ahead and use that as well because it's going to give you an extra chance of getting the respawn tome but as you see it is a two percent chance and it is most likely that you're probably going to get one or multiple at the same time as well also i think if you want some respawn tomes this guy sells it but i'm not sure how many or how often he does sell it but yeah that's pretty much it for this video i hope this video helped you guys on trying to get chocolate eggs and hopefully get that elite fallen angel if you guys do get that elite fallen angel or complete your pass please let me know down below in the comments down below to let me know that this video helped you and make sure you leave a like subscribe and turn that bell on to know if i want to post a new video but anyways guys